2021 GMC Yukon AT4 Review, Off-Road Alternative. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. There are a lot of capable, affordable off-roaders on sale today. Some of the best options come from brands you know and love like Ford, Jeep, and Toyota. But if you want something a bit different, from a company that's less established in the space, the GMC Yukon AT4 is an interesting alternative, as long as you're willing to pay a hefty premium. With genuinely capable hardware like a standard four-wheel drive system and a limited slip differential, plus more competitive off-road angles than the standard model, the Yukon AT4 will tackle the tough stuff with relative ease. But like all modern Yukons, this version is also comfortable, nice to drive, and loaded with some impressive tech. If you can swallow the $74,960 asking price as tested, the Yukon AT4 makes for a weirdly compelling off-road vehicle. Big and bold are the first two words that come to mind when looking at the GMC Yukon AT4. As if the standard Yukon weren't in your face enough, the AT4 package pumps up the exterior styling with a trim-specific grille that swaps chrome mesh for vertical slats, fog lights with unique black surrounds, and a brush guard on the bumper that helps protect the underbody when off-roading. The AT4 even has red tow hooks that are both functional and fun to look at. The wheels are unique to the AT4, as well. These 20-inch aluminum rims have a six-spoke split design with black inserts and carbon gray accents, and those wheels are actually two inches smaller than what GMC offers on the Denali, again, for off-roading. But not much changes on the rear of the AT4 compared to the standard Yukon. The only thing this trim does differently is that it swaps the bright chrome accent above the license plate frame for a darkened finish. The Yukon line and the Chevrolet Tahoe have nearly identical interiors since they're essentially the same vehicles underneath. The only outlier is the Yukon Denali, which has a distinctive dash layout with a crisper 10.2-inch touchscreen embedded within the dash. In the AT4 and all others, the 10.2-inch touchscreen sits atop the dash. Perforated leather covers the seats and steering wheel, but the AT4 only offers jet black with very subtle brown accents. It looks nice, but it's a bit monotone, and the swaths of leather and cloth might be hard to clean after serious off-roading. For as huge and hulking as the Yukon AT4 is, it actually has a nice ride. The adaptive air suspension and magnetic ride control, which we've praised previously, keep the 5,677-pound SUV well in check. The Yukon AT4 is smooth, composed, and quiet on the highway, and even though it does exhibit expected body roll around corners, it's nowhere near as unwieldy as its size suggests. Once you hop into the cabin, which is a bit trickier due to the taller ride height, 10 inches versus 8.0 inches. The front seats are not the best we've placed our butts in. The leather is stiff, bolstering is virtually non-existent, and it feels like you're sitting on top of them rather than in them. The second row captain's chairs suffer the same fate, they're very stiff and very flat. But as with the front, the second row is at least heated, a $370 option.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.